Okay, guys. Today video, ah, uh, I got three things to share with you, ah, uh, on top of the COVID update, uh, Okay, so ah, uh, stay tuned, ah, uh, till the end, okay, ah, uh, for all these news, ah. Uh. Okay, so first, ah, uh, four lions, ah, uh, at the Singapore Night Safari, ah, uh, has been tested, ah, uh, positive, ah, uh, for COVID nineteen, ah. Uh. The virus are uh, responsible for the uh, current COVID nineteen pandemic, ah. Uh. It's the same same virus, lah. Uh, okay. This is uh, after uh, the lions uh, were exposed uh, okay, to infected staff uh, okay, from the zoo. Uh. Okay, all these lions, uh, they display mild symptoms uh, okay, of uh, sickness uh, such as coughing, uh, sneezing and feeling like, very tired like that uh, on the 6th of November. And that's why uh, uh, the zoo decided to test them for COVID. Uh. So now, uh, all the 14 lions uh, uh, were all being issued a uh, stay-home order. Uh. Okay, uh, so stay home for them uh, means uh, stay in their order, uh, own den uh, in order to prevent further spreading. Uh. Anyway, the Mandai Wildlife Group uh, okay, will be closely monitoring uh, the health of all these lions. Uh, and then uh, we'll be you know, testing the samples uh, from all the remaining lions uh, just to make sure uh, for any more positive cases or not. I think, uh, if not wrong, uh, this is the first human to animal transmission uh, in Singapore. Uh, or at least, uh, officially recorded one uh, okay but uh elsewhere uh, in the world uh, there are already uh, uh some uh, human to uh, animal transmission uh, okay? especially pets uh, although uh, quite rare yeah uh. okay, uh, but then uh, having said that uh, not zero uh, still have one uh. so a uh, pet owner in singapore uh, if you are positive uh, okay please uh, when they ask you to isolate yourself uh, also isolate from your pet uh, okay <laughs> Oh yeah, anyway, uh, a lot of people, uh, because of today, these uh, four lions, uh, they have been asking uh, if today uh, the total daily case count uh, got includes the lion or not. Uh. Well, what do you think? Of course no! Lah. Yeah, if you remember my yesterday video, uh, okay, now I uh, can allow five pets fully vaccinated uh, to dine in at a restaurant. Uh, so uh, with all these easing of measures, uh, many people are now start to wonder again, okay, what about those uh, who medically uh, cannot be vaccinated on? Will they uh, also be uh, so-called uh, okay, so uh, excluded uh, from all the VDS uh, together with uh, all the unvaccinated? Uh? Well, Jing Hu, uh, they did mention, uh, okay, for those who are medically excused uh, from vaccinated uh, or be from the vaccination uh, to have concession, uh, and then uh, this will actually take effect uh, from 1st December onwards. Uh. Okay, so starting uh, from 15 November, uh, this group of people, right, they can actually visit any GP uh, of healthcare institute or like polyclinic, etc. etc. to get certified. Uh. But uh, after uh, they are certified, uh, in order for them uh, to be exempted from the VDS, right, okay, they must show uh, the paper memo uh, and their ID card, uh, then can pass. Uh. Whoa, I tell you, uh, this one uh, I think uh, is like those uh, one step forward, uh, two step backward. Uh. I mean, uh, for those who are vaccinated, uh, their records are already stored in their token or trace together app. Uh. Why, uh, why for this particular group, uh, the medically uh, excused one, uh, they still need paper verification? Uh. Time to go digital already. Uh. Okay, uh, now uh, with all the VDS measures are uh, implemented at the various mall. Uh, okay, I believe uh, okay many of you uh, might encounter a, a longer queue uh, as well as check in time. Uh, okay, a longer check in time uh, before uh, you can get into the mall. Uh. And then I'll tell you uh, this is especially true uh, if a lot of people uh, in front of you uh, are using the Trace Together app uh, for safe entry check in uh, as well as to show their vaccination status. Uh. Okay, uh, for those uh, who are using the token. Uh, I will say it is slightly a bit faster, la, but la, it also depends on the device uh, that is scanning the token. La. If the device is slow, la, wow, also the same. La. Uh, so far, la, okay, I tell you, uh, so far, la, I think the fastest uh, I have seen uh, are those uh, that actually scan the QR code uh, on the token itself uh, to retrieve the vaccination status uh, and then to do the safe entry check-in uh, together. One, uh. This, I think, uh, is the fastest I've seen already. Uh, however, uh, I know, la, okay, most younger generation, uh, me included, uh, uh, I must say so, uh, okay, me included, uh, will still uh, be using the Trace Together app uh, to check in uh, and then to show vaccination status, uh, the vaccination status one. Uh, uh, because uh, you all know, like, to carry a token to go around, uh, well, first, uh, very mahuan. Second, uh, ay, uh, it spoils the fashion sense. Uh. <laughs> 
But then, oh, if you use the Trace Together app, ah, oh, I must tell you, ah, today, ah, this is actually a two-step process. Eh. Ah, what are the two steps? Ah? First, you all need to go and scan the QR code, Tio Bo. Ah, then, ah, you need to show the security ah, successful check-in. Then, ah, you need to click ah, to go back to the home page. Ah, then, to show the security again, ah, your vaccination status. Then, ah, once you show these two, ah, then you are considered clear to enter the mall. This one ah, very ma fun ah, very ma fun one, I tell you. But then oh, oh you are very lucky. I have a solution to this. Ah, and then ah, maybe ah, whoever is managing ah, the Trace Together app ah, can listen ah, and watch my this video ah, at top lah. Ah, since ah, that is a valid pain point eh. A lot of people have this pain point one, I tell you. Ah, that's why I have a solution to it. My solution ah, is ah, very simple. To show uh, the vaccination status uh, at the successfully check in page. Can you? Yep. As simple as that, all problems will be solved. So, uh, with this solution, uh, the customer uh, just need to go and scan the safe entry QR code. Uh. Then, uh, on the successfully uh, check in page, uh, they just show to the security guard, uh, they will show that they are successfully check in. And then their vaccination status uh, will also be shown there. See? One stone you kill two birds la. See, very good right? Very sector already. So, as of uh, 9 November 12pm, uh, MOH uh, declared a total of 3,397 new cases uh, in Singapore. This is an increase uh, of 927 cases uh, compared to previous day. La. There are also uh, 3,222 uh, community cases. 169 uh, dormitory cases and we have 6 imported cases uh. As mentioned, uh, Tuesday number uh, will show bounce back to the weekdays number 1 uh, and this will continue uh, all the way uh, till Friday uh, for this week Likely, uh, the weekly growth rate uh, will also increase as well uh, uh, and possibly uh, okay, hitting uh, uh, or even go in beyond uh, number 1 uh, uh, the 1 uh, you will definitely, I think you will hit 1 and go beyond that 1 there are currently 1,700 cases uh, warded in the hospital, of which uh, 300 of them uh, actually require oxygen and 140 uh, are in the ICU. Uh. Of those 140 uh, who are in the ICU, uh, 72 of them are critically ill. And then we also have 68 uh, under close monitoring. Uh. The percentage uh, of free ICU bed uh, dropped by 3.9 percentage point uh, to 27.6%. Okay, now let us take a quick look uh, at the ICU bed utilization graph uh, from MOH. Uh. Okay, slight increase, uh, I would say, in the overall ICU bed number. Uh, okay, I don't know how and when the 100 beds will be added. Uh, okay, that one I don't know. Okay, but good news is slight increase. Uh, okay, but then uh, utilization uh, for the COVID cases uh, also increase. Uh, uh, and then it actually increased uh, more than the ICU beds. Uh, so uh, this resulted uh, in a drop uh, in the number of free ICU beds available. Uh. Sadly, today we have another uh, double digit KO cases again. Uh, we have 12. Uh, okay. Today we have 12 KO cases. Month to date uh, for November, uh, we have uh, 116 KO cases already. And so far, November alone uh, okay, account for 22.2% uh, of all the KO cases in Singapore. Uh. To summarize, uh, okay, uh, today report, okay, we have a total of uh, 224,000 uh, and 200 infected cases in Singapore. For KO cases in total, like, we have 523 KO cases. 